This vision shows a daring attack by Houthi rebels on a cargo ship in the Red Sea in November 2023. Fighters armed with guns use a helicopter to land on a cargo ship and seize control of it. Since then, the US says, there have been dozens of attacks like this one on commercial ships. The Houthis, who are based in Yemen, are designated a global terrorist organisation by the US. The group is supported by Iran, and they say they're targeting all ships travelling towards Israel as a way to support Hamas and Gaza. That's why we've seen the US team up with other countries to protect this narrow pass of the Red Sea. Those international partners, which include the UK and Australia, have sent an aircraft carrier and conducted airstrikes against targets in Yemen. The result has been a ratcheting up of tensions in the region, which is already the site of a number of wars and long-standing religious hostilities, and now major disruptions to global trade. But who are the Houthis? And why are they getting involved in the conflict between Israel and Gaza? And could the fighting spread? To understand the Houthis and the fighting in the region a bit better, it's worth knowing the difference between the two main branches of Islam. The religion of Islam has two main arms, Sunni and Shia. Sunni Muslims are the majority. Estimates say they make up between 85 and 90% of the world's 1.5 billion followers of Islam. Shia Muslims make up around 10%, with population estimates between 154 million and 200 million. This map shows the percentage of Sunni Muslims in the Middle East, with the darkest colours having bigger Sunni populations, particularly in Saudi Arabia. Whereas this map shows the percentage of Shia Muslims in the region, with the darkest spots having the largest concentration of Shia Muslims, particularly in Iran. The conflicts in the Middle East are not necessarily about religion, but alliances are often formed along these lines. The Houthi rebel group are Shiite Muslims and have links to Iran. They're anti-American and anti-Israel. The Houthis are also known as Ansar Allah, or supporters of God. They emerged in the 1990s to combat what they saw as corruption in Yemen's Sunni Muslim government. They became prominent in 2014 when they demanded lower fuel prices and a new government, which led to the beginning of Yemen's civil war. In January 2015, they seized the presidential palace. The president and his government resigned and he was forced to flee abroad. Saudi Arabia supported the government in Yemen and with backing from the US, the UK and France, along with Egypt, Morocco, Kuwait, the United Arab Emirates, Qatar, Bahrain, Pakistan and Sudan, Saudi Arabia started a series of airstrikes. The Houthis in Yemen are part of what they call the Axis of Resistance, a series of autonomous militant Islamist groups supported by Iran. They include Hezbollah in Lebanon, Hamas in Gaza, and some groups in parts of Iraq and Syria. This intervention by other countries in Yemen's civil war turned into a proxy war along Sunni Shia lines between Saudi Arabia and Iran. The Houthis control these areas, which includes the north of Yemen, the capital Sana, as well as the west coast, which is next to the Red Sea, close to where the attacks have taken place. Yemen's government has a presence in these areas. After a decade of fighting, the civil war has devastated the country. The UN says the conflict has caused more than 377,000 deaths. 60% are the result of hunger, a lack of health care and unsafe drinking water. So let's take a look at how that's influencing what's happening in the Red Sea. The Houthis say their strikes on Western vessels heading for Israel are in solidarity with the Palestinian people, but they're causing huge disruptions. The Red Sea is a critical global shipping channel. This is what a typical route looked like before the attacks. There's a consistent flow of goods from manufacturing hubs in Southeast Asia to consumers in Europe, a sea passage that would usually take about 26 days. 
Almost 15% of global sea trade goes through here in the Red Sea, which is linked to the Mediterranean by the Suez Canal, and it's the shortest distance between Europe and Asia. To avoid the risk of being attacked, companies are rerouting ships south around the Cape of Good Hope and up to Europe. It adds an extra 10 days to the journey. It requires more fuel and more insurance, meaning things could get more expensive. It's driven up prices for the average shipping container by 600% and sent oil prices above $80 a barrel, which is threatening the global economy. There are suggestions that attacks on ships through the Red Sea are intended to cause economic pain for Israel, to pressure it into a ceasefire. The airstrikes by the US and the UK, which are supported by Australia, show that tensions could escalate in a region already struggling with the war between Israel and Gaza. One huge fear is that this high-stakes conflict could also draw in Saudi Arabia and Iran, transforming the war into an all-out regional dispute.